is they cannot use the new sanctuary because they cannot get a certificate of occupancy until this is handled in some way. That is correct. Anything else from the board at this time? What exactly do they need to do to get the program? A CO? Mm -hmm. They would need to inspect the port, you would see a site plan, they would need to develop their property with the paving, with the number of parking spaces as indicated on their site plan. The number of spaces is dependent on the number of seats in the sanctuary, and I believe they were will, they will right at the minimum number. Which is? concerned with that and I believe the county engineer did speak to to that matter that you know it looks like it's the way it's designed as of today that there there's going to be some some concern with that church flooding still just with the incline the way it's inclined how long has a structure been erect and we haven't been able to utilize it it's been about I would say at least almost a year almost no, at least six months. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Thank you, Carmelo. Is there anyone here from the church that wishes to give us any any additional information? Can I get your name and address for the record, please? How long do you think it will take you to reach this point? Probably the entire 
Uh, you're, at this point, you're not planning on pouring any more concrete. This is all the concrete you want to put on the drain. Uh, at this point, this is all we can pour right now. We have raised the funds to pour more. And how long do you anticipate it's going to take for you to complete the rest of it? I'm saying, uh, like I said, three to five years. I'm going to look at the way things have gone. We've been able to do a little bit more, so it's going to probably be a little less than five. Probably. It could be done in two years. It nice. depends on the problems. Let me ask you a question. Um, how much is the cost of construction for the remaining parking lot? Probably about, uh, I'm, I'm estimating about $70,000. Okay. Have you approached any kind of third party lenders about getting a loan for this money? I've not really approached any because. Didn't want to put it on that loan. We've got 320,000 uh, in the church right now. So, in the main existing new building, you have a loan of three. Is there any equity? Um, Based on the sure. share market value, appraised value of the church? Yes. yes. There is some equity. Well, why can't you just tie in, uh, do a modification of the existing note with your lender to add an additional 60 or 70 just to finish out the remaining parking lot? It would seem to me like the bank doesn't feel fully secure without having the parking lot finished. Yeah, we, you know, the people that we have right now, that's one of the reasons I wanna, don't want to go into a, a deeper debt uh, because we, you know, at the point, we're growing right now, but we're not grown to that point where we've got that much finance coming in. But are you enough to, to, to basically make your mortgage payments? Oh, yes. We're making it. But the bank won't loan you any more money? I think that means maybe a second line of credit? I have not tried out the bank that we have to mortgage with, but I've tried uh, one of the other banks, but they wouldn't do that. Right, because it's can they consider it unsecure for the most part? It's just, there's not hardly any equity in the building? Or? So what's the reason? They were looking at the finances that were coming in. It would just seem to me like the easiest way to resolve this would be to get uh, either do a modification of the existing loan with, the, with your lender who probably, I mean, I don't even know if they're, you know, from a, from a banking point of view, whether they would even be considered secure without, without a parking lot, complete parking lot. And with this whole issue up in the air regarding, you know, the issues of the CO, I would think the bank would be insistent based on its regulators to basically finish out the, the property, the construction. I mean, have you not approached the bank about that? Not the present. Not at present time. I tried to get a loan at another bank. I wanted to refinance the whole bank. Right. But they would not do it because of uh, the, the funds that were coming in because they didn't think that we were able to do it. Where are you meeting now? Where are you meeting now? In our um, old sanctuary. It's still on the same property right there. So, so you're not precluded from having service? No. Yeah, the same number of people. Everything's the same. It's just that you can't utilize that brand new structure. Right. You cannot really yeah. grow. You cannot really grow. You know, in this present substructure, we need to, uh, the room to grow. We need to, uh, uh, the new building to do fundraisers mm -hmm. uh, and to do ministries that we have planned. But you, but you still are able to function as a church. Right. We still to function as a church. Pastor, did y'all? Refresh my memory. Did we did we establish that the construction, the vertical construction, was actually over budget, and that's why we're having an issue funding the parking lot? Right. Or it's important for me to know. I mean, did y'all? I mean, I'm just being honest. With you. Did y'all y'all come into this knowing you weren't going to have the funds, or did it go over budget? I mean, how do we end up starting a project that we couldn't finish? We went into it, you know, thinking that we would be able to do everything, but we actually went way over budget. And that happens actually we was up to about September of last year, I was still paying on construction uh, uh, calls, I mean, uh, paying uh, the vendors that uh, we owe uh, to the end of the year last year. So that's how much we went over budget. And we're coming, we're coming out of it right now. Get into the building, see some more growth, and uh, we can have more, uh, have more funds coming in, and who knows?
was I'm hoping that many people within by the within a couple of years that we can finish or even further than that. I'm just saying, I'm asking this based on what we have right now, you know, the, the, the five years, the three five years, based on what we have right now. And then they read the letter uh, out there all earlier. As soon as you get the funds, they don't work. We've already started planning, already planning to move on the next on phase two. We already planning for that right now. I think as a board, we're talking to my fellow board members. Self-inflicted or not, and and what does this do to our community as a whole? I mean, are we better off to have the building sitting sitting there unoccupied and, and half done and drag this out for years? Or and that's where I that's where I struggle. What's what's the common good here? Right. Um, I agree, yeah. and at the same time, this is the first time we've ever had anything come before us like this. Is they're requesting. <coughs> A time payment plan, so to speak. You know, let us continue to build as we can for three to four to five years. And there's no way to keep up with it. There's no way to police it other than potential complaints by neighbors because the staff is just not set up to go out there on a monthly basis or every couple of months and see how much progress they're making. Can I ask okay. a question? I'm sorry. You, you, you yeah, I wanted to know um, the building that you're currently using, utilizing, um, is it debt free? Yes, ma'am. Well, actually, it's all tied in together with the loan. So, so you can't yeah. sell that? Uh -huh. You plan on selling the no. We're going to use it for new activities. Okay, both sanctuaries. And they're, brought, they're both cross collateralized with the note. Right. So the bank's not going to release it. So you can sell it to pay for the cost of the $70,000 parking lot. Now, were you the contractor on the original thing? Okay. I was not the, I came in on the parking lot contracting. Okay, you're not the GC on the building. Not on the building, no, sir. But what has happened is, uh, if I can say, we have a church. They updated since the last time we were looking tremendously. Matter of fact, I'm more than that one. But what happens is even if you do as a GC, they have a temporary, a temporary uh, seal. It really don't last with much <coughs> like 30, 45 days. But in this case, there can't be you know, a workable seal if the board would allow to even going down the records, you put a temporary in there, and then a year from the day or whatever, you can work it on a 12 month period that it would be in the computer for the staff to actually look at where he's at at that time. Now, for as uh, Mrs. Nancy drives a real hard question, when that lane comes five lane or uh, three lane, it's going to be real serious there because of the, uh, once the vegetation is removed from around that area, it can be real, real critical for this church because once you start moving the vegetation, then you know water just runs. I don't care whether it's in purpose materials or hard materials. And so once you get into that area, then it can be serious because and the next phase he was talking about doing is actually getting the detention from the water that had already been created on that property. And once he does that, the strolls or whatever behind them, there's a whole other couple of subdivisions that if it's not done in you know, carriage of time, the DOT go down the plot, which I think is supposed to be coming up as well, but they go through that three or five lanes, it's going to be some serious water if you don't get it turned before time, and you're going to have to go somebody. <coughs> Is there any chance of runoff water right now getting back into the church? The way um, the elevation is? It's been remarkably blessed. You can flood it now and it ain't going in the church. But you, sh you sure? Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't have two inches leaving the days of the report. Matter of fact, in the area, uh, uh, general runner in the area, they probably don't see it right in there. You probably don't know if the is here for going in the church as well. But Ms. Nancy has told me, thank you for that. She has a little grind rain too. And we have been able to keep it out of both buildings. But now what I was saying is that with the other people going through with DOT and starting construction, then that's the key question. Um, <coughs> I had, okay. I was actually going to kind of echo something that he was alluding to a second ago. I was going to ask Ted not to put you on the spot, but 
can you temporary COs? Can we do just if that was the board's desire? Could you do a revocable temporary CO? We can go. Yes, sir. We usually do a temporary CO 30, 60, or 90 days. I haven't seen one longer than 90 days. But Mike Martin would be the ultimate deciding factor on that. Um, that far out for a year or two, I don't know how we would enforce it, to be honest with you. Um, but 90 days is the norm, max. So we had, we had a temporary CO in place for 90 days. Um, you have opportunities to explore some other possibilities in terms of um, securing financing. Once we start to grow, you come up with $70,000 in three months? I don't think so. I'm, not, I'm being honest with you. I don't think I can. I mean, <laughs> you need a lender. You need a bank. Yeah. I, I, uh, I asked the last time about using um, not paving. I mean, I drove around out there today on the grass, and I, I don't object to the railroad ties and the grass. I, I don't object to that. But if the rule says you have to have some sort of harder surface there, could you put down some gravel right now and hold you over? You would meet the letter of the law by pouring some gravel or millings out there. And then you can pave it when you want, and, and it, it gets you over the hump of this. You spend whatever smaller amount of money you need to do to just make it be the minimum. You get your permanent CO. The building is open. People can walk. Right now, they walk in their church shoes in the mud, so they can walk on millings to the church without having. I mean, I always have my feet in the mud. And then, when you can take as long as you want, then to make the payment. When then you don't have to have time limit. Just get yourself some millings out there and. I agree. Something needs to be done to meet the boards. Are. And if we open up a business that something we've never done before, somebody's watching. And they're going to try to figure out a way to circumvent the rules, just like whether it be cause or just cause, or not cause. My suggestion is to try to come up with some type of uh, cover there until you're able to. Because we can't really go on faith, to be honest with you, when it comes down to money. It doesn't belong to anybody, but it belongs to everybody. So, most folks are. First of all, say the hardships and the homes. So therefore, you won't be able to get your road out of faith. So my suggestion is just what the scripture said. Uh, the only way we can see the grant this variance is to provide some type of covering to go over that grass area until you're able to go ahead and finish the payment process. But something has to be done. And we need to act on it pretty much today. Well, you've already told us how much it would cost for payment. Okay, how much would it, would it cost for gravel? Even if yes, but even if you, even if you do it, I mean, let's say you do fifty percent, and we're talking in the neighborhood of seventy-five, we still talking about you got to have forty thousand dollars in there. So it's forty thousand as opposed to seventy. I'm just trying to get yes, sense yes, no. And what what happens is, and I, the gentleman says, right? But see, once you start moving vegetation. Unless you go and do it properly, and I guess the um, chairman can say about that, you come in and roll it, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, in purpose, materials are really no more than a rock that's sitting on something. So it's not much well, stronger. Least, but at least you would need the requirement but, so that you can change it at some other point in time. Oh, I agree. But what I was saying is, unless you go in and do it right, once the weather starts, even if you like it's been, once you start breaking this all, even now, they, they couldn't even get out of Kicked up the can, and we created it back. But because the ground has been broken, the water table is real high. So once you start stripping the vegetation, it really sounds like on purpose, and I do all of them. But unless it's got a solid foundation upon it, it's not going to last. No. And then once he started running red, then we're going to take mud from his yard into the highway. And then you got the college right across the street, so the school right there. So you have to pull his guard right there every day, so it's going to get. It's going to be a counselor. 